Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I had to restart the stream because it wouldn't reconnect. But anyways, let's uh, get back to the lore, shall we? And there goes my Minecraft. Oh my god. And there goes my Minecraft. Yep. Yep. There goes my Minecraft. Oh my god. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Justice and Cam have it on Instagram by the way. Give me a second guys. I do it didn't do this earlier but not decided to do it. But okay then. Okay. Give me a second guys. I'm sorry by the way if it's like delaying so much. But like I do not know why this is happening. Give me a second. Is that Gavin? I am a professional. I definitely don't know what they're doing. My game straight up crash. Yep. It does this sometimes and I do not know why. I do not know. Anyways, while we're waiting for it and you can just see clearly a black screen. What are you guys doing? I, I don't want to change it to the BRB screen because it's probably going to crash. Yep. Yep. Hang on, guys. Yep. I don't know why it's doing that. It's probably because I, I probably need to clean up my computer or something. Maybe it's like because it's like uh, not that much RAM anymore, which I probably have to like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, I'll just talk for a minute. Like, so how you guys doing? Don't worry, guys. We'll get into the lore soon. I'm just like restarting my Minecraft. How you guys doing? How you guys doing today? Oh, nice. You playing GTA? I might join you in the, later after the stream. Yep. Thanks, guys, for being understanding. Hang on, it's just reloading the mouse. Um, I could try no promises, though, because I might forget. I'm kind of forgetful, so yeah. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm just having difficulties like this. Because stream is questioned, and I don't know why. Wow, that is the first time there's a lot of people in my chat. It sounds kind of sad. Oh, my God. Hang on. Hang on, guys. Alright, game is incoming, and let's, uh, let's try this again. My stream, my game straight up crashed. <laughs> okay, so, uh, okay. Um, Hang on, are we I'm good now? Loading. Yeah, I'm loading in. Give me a second. Also, people are, right, I'm just talking right. to the peeps while the thing is loading. Please load. For the love of God. Thank you. Alright, oh, uh, right, right, uh, right. I'll see go ahead and unmute mine. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Here, hold on, hold on a second. Let me uh switch in and out of skin so we can uh do this. All right. All right. Just switched from that to that. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I'm Bogo's ready. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. <sighs> I haven't actually spotted them yet. I've gotten a report, and it's really worrying me. It really is. I don't know what to do. I've sent the Azor Guard out there, even. Haven't gotten a report on their whereabouts. They're <laughs> the downside, I guess, of eight year olds and a seven and a seven year old being way too smart is well, they can probably outwit their own mother. Would seem. Anyways, should probably head down there. We've been standing around way too long. I need to work. I don't care. I don't care. At this point, All right. the people well, need let's us. Go. Come on. All right. Let's head over there. Well, this is, uh, this isn't quite the number I was expecting, but... It'll yeah, do. Fine. It'll do if it gets our point across. Also, Allison, did you do something new with your hair? 
Uh, um, no, it's the same as always. Hi, coconuts. Alright, anyways. Anyways, shall we bring everybody to that new room? Indeed. Follow us. Oh, wait. There's much Something we have to discuss. Special. Something special prepared, sounds like. Well, this isn't just some regular old council. Please, that. And let's get this over with. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Take a seat in any one you would like. Those will probably be your seats for a long, long time. Exactly. Allie. Hmm? Up here. Oh, up uh, right. <laughs> you mistakes. know where you're supposed to sit, Allison. We don't need to tell you this. <clears throat> yes, I've just been out of a loop. Anyways. Anyways. All right, let's see. Hallie, Yuki, so, Swanson, Chris. No, that's All half right. of the count, half the wartime council. I don't even think they think that this is really important because, well, I was no. gone for a week doing something. And I hear a place in the new world got burned down. <laughs> oh my. I can't leave this council alone for even a week's notice before something's go something went wrong. What exactly happened, by the way? I can pretty much tell you all of that. As many of the people here were in attendance, but I went ahead and got the full scoop from Miles himself since his place was affected. Alrighty then. So, from what it sounds like, Miles obviously came to us in the last meeting, sis, and asked for our approval on a certain event that they wanted to throw for their new Spirited Oasis festival, or place, whatever it is. And well, they did exactly just that. They held a festival, and it seemed like everything was going right. Until, at one point, when all of the party guests were downstairs, having drinks and dancing the night away, a particular group of rebellion decided to march their way in, grab their attention using a microphone, and well, they listed off some sort of propaganda of sorts. And from there, they hinted at burning a place down. And well, according to eyewitness testimony, after everyone had saw the fire and went to go try to extinguish it, they made their escape. And uh, where were the where were the Izzard guard? Pretty sure that there place were. is stationed with guards, supposedly. It's not. It's a neutral of, ground. Of course. I was well. Well, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I try to hire uh, people to protect the people, and Just nobody case, uh, and nobody responded to you. No, um, Evan. Uh, Grimes came and uh, uh, everyone else was. And busy, you so. two didn't even manage to capture them. I heard they were making a display for you both, in fact. He stood up on that pedestal and literally mocked you, and you did nothing about it. In their defense, Empress, we were attempting to discern whether or not there was an immediate threat to the people there. And their words were the only thing we had to go off of. I think there's a bunch of things that need to be said, especially as of today. Alright? I think it's abundantly clear that every single person in this room doesn't agree with the actions that have been committed. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Yes. Green. You're yeah. correct. I think what my sister is trying to say is that if someone is wanted, regardless of whether there's an immediate threat or not, it should not be the first priority to listen to what they have to say. Because unfortunately, uh, Miles doesn't know much about how they did their plan. I have a question, though. Was there any casualties during the event? Anybody Double got... Per... Yes. Speak your mind. A few villagers got burned. Oh, God. 
Sky didn't know they were in there, apparently. I get so. that the villagers yeah. are expendable. However, we're going to need all the manpower we can get. We saved these people's lives during that one th one course in this history, which was the mansion. So I they owe a us a lot. Yes? Did you just say that Sky apparently didn't know they were in there? How would you know that information? That is pretty suspicious. I just figured. You I just mean, figured. figured. I mean, this that was a sloppy job they did. It was really a sloppy job. We were all talking about it. Sloppily done or not, that simply can mean that they aren't exactly the, you know, an expert of setting fire to buildings. Well, nevertheless, something was hurt and something was injured. And I don't think even the rebels know they did that. The fact of the, the, fact of the matter is, is that they hurt something. They hurt someone. This is a according, certain retaliation. According to, Miles, according to Miles, Yuki, nobody was killed. But from what it sounds like, several villagers were hurt trying to put out the fires. And well, they lost a fuck ton of livestock. <sighs> And well, we've lost one of our industries, our industry of real estate. So if anybody new wants to get a home, then we're going to have to fucking try our very hardest to even get them one. So they at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether they fucking knew it or not. That is true. Property value just really went down over there. Exactly. A big pile of ashes. And I have to experience the dread that is carried by a hotel owner, a person who didn't even want to be involved with any of this bullshit conflict. So at this point, I think this carries the message that they're willing to attack anyone at any given point. Especially if you're on the New World Council. Might. Ah, <sighs> we should really be stationing more guards. Good thing we're training those other villagers who's had enough of this bullshit. Hmm. It's funny that you mentioned that. I had a very interesting talk with Miles about a lot of stuff. And well, after being involved with whatever had happened, it seems as if I've struck a deal with them. Oh, do tell. Let's just say their place won't have any more troubles. My little project that I've been doing is pretty much complete. Ah, yes, well, you showed me the. <laughs> you showed me them. Very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. As of today, I'm going to be revealing some information to you all, and I expect you all to keep your mouths shut. All right? Apologies if it sounds a little too harsh, but at this point, I'm getting tired of people stabbing me in the fucking back. So I'm going to make it abundantly clear. Abundantly clear. Alrighty then. Since the fire incident has happened, there is been a few talks going around of what all this might mean and well i was talking to swanson over there and it's quite a possibility that things are not going to get better obviously considering the fact that they're willing to resort to violence they may not seem like this kind of way they can lie to themselves all they want but unfortunately it's the truth so I'm officially decreeing this, along with the other members that are not here at the moment, to be the Wartime Council. Now that might frighten you, and trust me, it frightens me as well. But unfortunately, the only way we're going to fight fire is with fire. And well, you can't have fire without the numbers. So, I'm here to reveal to you all Deus Vault Military and the Azur Guard. The two armies of the New World Order. Hell, you might have even seen them in Haven or in Orlaid, or maybe even in Dynasty. We've basically, <laughs> let's just say, some of the villagers decided to volunteer for this cause and now have converted to being our very own personal army. So now, and remember, they're very, um, well, let's just say, hardy. They won't be swayed by anything. They're very, very duty-bound now. And, well, brother made sure of that. So... Of course I did. 
Well, obviously, they need to be disciplined. They're gonna be soldiers now, not villagers anymore. Anyways, you and everybody else that have been selected for this council are the chosen few who I trust out of the New World Order Council. <laughs> well, person, not personal trust, but you get what I mean. I trust that you will do your job as part of the Wartime Council because, ladies and gentlemen, we're probably about to go into war. Hmm. It's only a matter of time until a declaration is declared from either our side or theirs. But... I'd like to think that this is an open and shut case. We tried our very best. We tried to appeal to them. We tried to compromise. We tried to get them to see what they were doing was wrong, but... I guess all it takes is one selfish act of arson to really true, truly believe the true colors of them. Uh, this yeah, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this just literally proves my point. Humans are flawed, unrationalistic, they're emotional. So they decide to retaliate like little babies, just to, st just to basically tell us adults that we're serious about this. Well, despite the fact that it was a sense of emotional retaliation, we have to reply to this. I didn't really think of them as much of a big threat as because of their small numbers, but because of what happened, well, it opened my eyes, let's say. So, they will not be considered war criminals from here on out. We should probably as well increase that bounty on their heads because of this. I already have. <laughs> How much? 100, 180. Not bad. 120 to 180. Along with the biggest crime of terrorism, plus <laughs> treason. Of course. That would mean they'd have to be at the very pitter potter bottom part of the prison. Still under construction, but it'll be done soon. Of course. Anyway, speaking Anyways. of the livestock, by the way, you said livestock was well affected at Dogeland, correct? I wouldn't exactly say that it was much to affect everybody, unlike our real estate industry, but all of Miles's livestock is gone, all of his cows. We're probably going to need to go to a livestock high place for the Pandora's Law in order to provide for that loss. I think that's justifiable. Asia, do you think you can provide for that? Yeah, I believe I can. Good. All right, that's good. It's good to know. Anyways. Asia's our, Asia's our livestock industry. As to what that is, is up for debate. Not exactly wanting to build their old stuff as a reminder would really help them, but we're going to help them nonetheless. We're probably so going to have to clear several that. other industries. Did you, um, we're, we're probably going to need to clear out that the raise that what you're talking about. Well, with the help of some of our, well, the help of our, some of our industries as well, we're going to be clearing that area out, terraforming it back to new and building something else. Of course, it's not. Yeah, of course. Plus, we don't want people getting injured over there. I heard from Bentley that he's been scavenging through the rummage. And, the fire. well, according to Miles, it wasn't just an act of arson, it was an act of also stealing supplies. They noticed that a lot of their supplies that didn't get burnt was also missing. <sighs> so stealing thievery. resources. So thievery, terrorism, arson. They're really racking up the list, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They really are. <sighs> but I don't think Miles has to worry about that stuff anymore. Because I went ahead and made a deal with Miles. Which so, is? 
I will be providing Deus Vault military guards to their new place. The place will be guarded 24-7, and we will be putting an embassy for the New World Order over in the Spirited Oasis. That way, coverage is, well, now. <laughs> now there, I guess. Well, here, well, the fact that it's a neutral ground, that would mean that the guards have to be stationed around the area that's not in neutral territory, I'm guessing. Precisely. <laughs> so that means even if the rebels go over there, once they step out, they'll be shot to death. Probably injured, not really shot to death, but you, you get what I mean. Um, Though if they do I mean, retaliate, well, we already know what's gonna happen. They have from their my orders. Reports, from my reports, it seems as if they've already been struggling because of it. Oh. But I'll talk about that in a bit. But I think I should definitely share something as well that was given to me. I think everybody's gonna want to hear this. Especially you, sis. Oh? Along with the deal that I made with Miles, Miles gave me something that I guess you could say is a little bit of a death trap for the insurgency. Because mm. apparently this little group is calling themselves the Argus Insurgency. <laughs> and while the Argus Insurgency made one little flaw in their plan, they left it behind. Oh, what is that? Is that a notebook? This this piece of information that I'm carrying right now is the plans that they had. From what Miles was telling me, they found this while they were trying to escape the fire. And well, from their hypothesis, this was written by Sky themselves. And I guess they dropped it and didn't even realize they did. So, I haven't peeked in this just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and read it off to every single one of you. Step 1. Scout the area the night before while not being seen, and find a suitable place to set up a temporary camp. We will need to set up after scouting. Step 2. Head out in the evening of the event and arrive at the scouted area and set up camp. Step 3. Wait until the festivities have begun and make our move while the event is in progress. That will draw attention away from the inn so we can make our move. Step four, head to the Dogeland Inn, in quotations, and take whatever we can and use it as necessities and leave no trace behind. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. Leave nothing behind when we exit. Step five, head to the Oasis, also in quotations, and sneak around until we find an opportunity to relay our demands and messages. Make sure everyone hears it. I want the queen to know that I'm not playing around anymore. <laughs> Step six, allude to the fire vaguely and make our escape somehow. Step seven, head back to the cold. <laughs> if all goes according to plan, the message will get to the New World Order and they will be forced to step down. I do not want these tyrants to control our lives, and this will be the first step in doing so. I look forward to our inevitable victory. <laughs> Embarrassing. That's insolent. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Looks like our little rebellion friends have made the biggest error they could have ever done. It is the biggest mistake that they ever fucking did. <laughs> Step seven, head back to the cold. To the cold. That deduces a lot, actually. There's not that many cold areas here on the earth. I can think of a few off the off the top of my head. The upper upper tops of Russia. I know Canada's very cold. No, Alaska no. used to be. Oh no 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 no. Oh this. Oh, does anybody have a map? <laughs> If I was exactly. a rebellion, if I was a rebellion leader, where's the one mm -hmm. place that's that would make armies much more difficult to traverse? Not Russia. I've heard of people traversing the the scales of Russia. They have clear paths over there. Oh God, you get what I'm getting at. You're thinking of the one area that we don't have jurisdiction over, don't you? Precisely, the one yeah, area the that lot. they're safe. The one area that they're safe from, the one place with no jurisdiction of the New World Order, that place. You are we sure we can? Are, are we sure we can even deduce that place? It could be a diversion. 
that is true. There are several places. We probably have to check for everything that's inhabitable. That's because exactly if I... what I was going to propose. <laughs> there are many other cold places there around this world. That is true, I... which is why we have to check the ones that are inhabitable, naturally. If I was hiding well... from the government, I would do the same thing. The thing about Antarctica, though, is since it's a place of no jurisdiction, that means we can do anything we legally want over there as well. Yes. It's a so, no rules unfortunately, game. Unfortunately, it's not exactly the safest place, I'd say, but it's definitely a possibility. But it seems too obvious. It's a little too obvious, mm. but it is inhabitable as well. We could check the south or the north. There is also the north. That's exactly what I'm proposing, sis. We have the numbers, we have the armies. We can send battalions and groups out to go search these areas, and once they come back with something, they'll come to us. We could even like bring the golems along. One punch from those guys, and you'll be knocked out for weeks. And those are a work in progress, but... Well, see. I do agree. I do agree with the stance. Just looking at these plans makes me sick. <laughs> well, you better keep and... it. Oh, I will. Don't worry. It's just gonna. Does be anybody have anything to say after hearing any of that? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So, number number one, um, if you do plan on sending people to search Antarctica, I would like to be notified when they head down there, considering I'm the only, of well, course, not terrorist owner of, of it. Of course, out of respect for your property, we will. We have to do mm -hmm. a search warrant after all. Yeah, and I yeah. will definitely approve and actually help with your search. I want well, to know if they are there, I want them out immediately. We prof we should probably start from the north. You are right, it's pretty obvious if they ch check the south, so we should probably check the north first, just well, in case. From, from what I've been seeing on the maps that the research team has been putting together, or at least Wyvern has, um... It looks like Greenland's an option, parts of Russia, but it's unlikely since Ares Vault is over there. They yeah. would definitely see something. There's a lot of military um, people in Russia. Mm -hmm. There's some snowy parts that are above India. There's Alaska, Canada. There's so many areas we'd have should to search, we, but... We should probably check the Northern Hemisphere first, then. Mm -hmm. Everything then that's we'll in the so. North. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll so. do so. Then we'll head to the South if we find, don't find anything. Antarctica is probably a last resort. Of course, have you seen the scale of the size of this? Well, I've never been to Antarctica, so I wouldn't know. It's the largest, actually. Largest cold climate. Ain't that right, Chris? It very much is. Not so, even I've traversed all of it. <laughs> so that would probably be our last place of destination. We should probably check the north first, yeah. But that... There's many places that this cold comment could lead to, but the further we search and the more we do it, the sooner we'll have our rebels. We should probably as well like equip our people for the cold. Oh no, I already got that handled. Oh, you do? Great. I'm probably going to ask for a new outfit. Just to make sure I can handle the weather. Well, we got the resources, so... Anyways. Anyways, is there anything else? Uh, talking about the fire, talking about embassy, rebuilding work, their little mistake, search parties. I think that about does it for that. All right, then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we should probably be prepared for a rest stop. I'll pro we'll probably summon you if there's any new information or something. By the way, we probably need to talk to the to Wyvern about the research, please. Oh, no. Don't worry. I have that handled. Oh, you have that handled. Well, I'd like to see some developments, if that's okay. Well, can't exactly get a lot of development nowadays when you have a rebellion going around. That is true. It would be nice, though, to at the least get some kind of information, right? About certain areas. I heard there was a new thing that happened, so kind of want to see if there was anything new about that. Anyways, I think that about does it for that talk. 
Is anybody in disagreement with these notions? None. Mm, no. All right, then. Okay. Happen to bring along a particular something with me today. Oh. Good. Justin, you've already I've told I've told you about these, but I actually brought them with me today, thinking that perhaps one of the researchers would be around. You know how we have no understanding or quite idea about what happened to the world before it became like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We uncovered some pieces that hopefully the research team can comprehend. That's what you were talking to me about, weren't you? Yep. Hmm. A lot mm. of it's in pretty bad shape, but hopefully they're helpful. My final message. SOS. If anyone finds this message, do not return to Jericho. I repeat, do not return to Jericho. Things have gone to hell and it's no longer safe. We should have never touched the surface. We should have never taken from those things. May whatever is, may whoever is watching us from above have mercy on us. Old key card. Jericho what? authentication key card. ID 60... 520 21. Do not lend. Keep with at all times. Some codes, torn documents, some broken tapes, and whatever this is. Well, this has what... something to do with that broadcast thing you were talking about, right? Correct. Those were found after we followed a bit of the broadcast and deciphered what we could. Hmm. We what should all probably have you just... deciphered from this? Honestly, not terribly much. My mind ain't quite for the research type of thing, I'm afraid. We should probably to give be... it to the researchers, then. You might have well, a better idea. Well, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and do that as, uh... Wyvern's been preparing stuff for this kind of stuff with Project Genesis. <laughs> so I guess, I guess this will help greatly. This is so weird. Why would someone write in this way? They probably actually wait. Did when you found that, was there anybody there like alive or dead? Tell me, Swanson. We did in fact find someone. However, unfortunately, I was at the back of the group and couldn't prevent them from killing them. They were, I think, a zombie or one of those undead ah. sorts of creatures. Well, that's too bad. Could have extracted information from them, but the dead person's a dead person. Nothing that can be done now, unfortunately. Yes, of course, yeah. Well, mm. let's well, just leave it to the researchers with what we have. Very least, get to the bottom of that part of the whole world. This seems seems all too familiar. I will say that this piece of paper. I've seen something similar to this before. You see. A while ago, Sol and Kitty were doing lessons with Zolan, and they found something similar to this. Sol had given me whatever they had found, and it looks very similar, I'd say. Let me see that. Here, take a look at that. Perhaps they're a piece of the same puzzle. Possibly. Yeah, this does look familiar. Where have, I, where have I seen that shape before? I don't know. It beats me. I'm more interested to see what you have to think about this code. You seem to be built for the brains. Think you can figure out what it means? Hmm. Unfortunately, this geography isn't really my strong suit. Hmm. Who knows, maybe Wyvern can figure something out. Geography and anything else, yeah. I do n I'm not much of a tech person. Alrighty then, well... I'll be sure to bring these pieces of evidence to Project Genesis. Thank you, Swanson. Of course, I'm just doing my job. Anything else anybody wants to share? Are we done here? I have to do something else. Much more important. Uh, the only other thing I can think about is talking about the expansions that we made here in Beantopia. Oh? 
What are these expansions? Well, alongside this new room that you're sitting in right now, we've made a few other rooms, and we've unlocked a few other elevator floor stops. Some of them contain possible supplies and maybe answers to the old world that the that we have yet to dig into. And well, there's a new venue that's being created, but oh. honestly, I don't think that kind of stuff is important. Do you mind As showing right me now, this? Obviously. Do you mind showing me this? The new areas that you're mentioning? Is that alright? Do I have to bring everybody along? They're part of the Queen's Council, aren't they? You're right. Alright, well, I guess we can end off our meeting by going to check out these places. It sounds like a field trip. It's a very interesting. Right. Alright, Dylan. Uh, Alright, any one of the buttons that are made of stone are the ones that are functional. So we'll start off with the global storage archive. Ooh. Take a gander at how long this hallway is. What the? It almost looks like a library. Mm hmm. Oh my god. What's we this? We found at the it end? just like this. What is this at the end? Island cabinets. It looks like a private locker. We haven't been able to crack the code to it, but we're thinking There's that whatever's not... behind it might have some answers. As, so as for everything else, they're empty. Redacted files, everything. Useless junk, they... probably. Yeah. All their all their good is is just empty pieces of paper to write on the back of. Hmm. But it... we're thinking whatever's here might be important. Well, they wouldn't lock it up if it wasn't important. Exactly. Perhaps mm -hmm. the codes on some of them papers might be related. Perhaps. Possibly. That's what I was thinking, yeah. It's quite possible indeed, but I'm not sure what could be in there. <laughs> could be something beneficial, could be an artifact from the old world, could be the Declaration of Independence for all we know. Did the researchers <laughs> have access to this area, by the way? And as of right now, I haven't really written out clearance values, but I'll get on it. Of course. There's a lot that a red right hand has to do, so yeah, it's gonna take some time. You're quite busy, yes? Hmm, as with you. Of course, right? Lee. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm going. Alright. Hey, what's this one? Next, next up is the security office. I'm guessing this is the royal this one, guards' this place. <laughs> this one we made ourselves. Just nothing but oh. an empty room until we got oh. some commissions done. Oh. <laughs> so I'm guessing the royal guard is in charge of this place. Why, of course. Huh. Well, Swanson, yes. you have your own little office. I guess I do. With new technology being developed every single day, very soon we'll have security cameras. Definitely <laughs> beneficial. Hmm. It's amazing how much we as humans can develop, especially with nothing. Well, or a little bit. With this, we'll be yeah, going into the Industrial Revolution soon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say that. Progressing through the time periods in record time. Yeah. Basically well, speed running through it. Well, whoever left any, all this pieces of evidence behind obviously left this all behind. For a reason. Anyways, heading back down. Uh, we don't need to go into the comm station. It's an executive there... bunker. That's still being built at the moment. Think of it um, as a shelter, just in case this place gets attacked. Ah. Uh, like all fancy uh, presidents. Hmm. Yeah, the only thing that's in here is the incarceration cell center, but I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. I mean... Hmm. I mean, we could show them. Probably I'm, not. I'm, like, probably not, <laughs> if it's not ready. Despite the, all, all the other areas, we're soon going to have a maintenance room, a treasury deposit bank, a mailing center. Over there is an aviation association room, because I've been talking to a particular engineer about possible new innovations for aviation. A recreation room, and out here which is still being constructed past that beacon over there. There is a venue room. That is a very wow. large door. Yep. 
Venues often have large doors. But other than that, that's what we've been doing here. It's nice to see some developments in this place. That clock in particular, we really need to get that moving somewhat. <laughs> True. Not exactly an expert on how to do clocks, but it's just I guess stuck right. at that time. Jeez. Just a grim reminder of when it all ended. True. Anyways, does anybody else have anything to present to the hall since we're not at the table? Nothing? Huh. I honestly thought there'd be more. There'd be more. But anyways, if that's all, yeah, you may go. Swanson, Allison, I might need to talk to you both. Alrighty. Uh -huh. Okay. Chris. Hmm? Over here. You have a minute? Uh, I have all the time you need. Alright, come with me. I need to talk to you about something. Alright. Alright. Here. Ah, that was a pain to do. Anyways, take a seat. Looking a little weird, I remember. And I don't mean that offensively. Of course. I'm just, well. Let's just say. I haven't stopped looking. Of course you haven't. It's about. Um, isn't it? Allie, your, nie your niece and nephew is missing. I don't know if you've heard of that. Miles filled me in when I was... wasn't present. Does everybody asked, know yeah. at this point? Does everybody just know at this point? I don't know. I haven't been exactly spreading the news. I've just been keeping an eye out. What I'm... Trying to find some semblance of a lead. What I'm most worried about is because of the fact that the Rebellion group has moved, that the Beans might have... You think they might have them? Which is, uh, which is my worst fear. Because if that's the case, if they do have my children, might as well just step down from the position. I do know they would never harm them. Yes, but people are irrational, like I said. Allie, by emotion. We're, we're entering a time where people aren't acting rationally. Hell, people haven't been acting rationally since I've re-entered society. Not really. You can't just go off of what you know of people these days. Of course. They'll always surprise you. Ali, I want to help with the search parties. Of course, and you're doing a wonderful job already. But... I'd just like to know, at the very least, if they're safe. It doesn't even matter where they are. As long as they're okay. Yes, they're smart. They're smarter than normal 8 and 7 year olds. But still... They're still children. With those creatures out there as well. And the Argus insurgency being a thing. If there was ever going to be a war, Allison, Allie, Allie. Will you keep them safe? If we ever find them and if war happens, I don't want them to be on the battlefield. Of course. They're way too young. Just keep them safe. 
they'll listen to you as much as they'll listen to me because you're their auntie I've always taken care of him every time you want come to me for babysitting of course yeah I remember that The search parties have turned up nothing. It's almost as if they just vanished in the thin air. <sighs> they made sure nobody followed them, not even me. Smart beans. I'm almost proud if I wasn't that sad. I'm fond of Empress. I hope so. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll turn up somewhere. I usually let them explore because I want them to experience a lot of things. <laughs> they probably take that from their dad. He re he really loved to explore new places. So I let them be because they would come home every uh, on the dot, right when sunset just hits. But recent, but you know, as soon as I found out that they never went home, I got worried. Couldn't sleep even. Empress, when was the last time you actually slept? Three days ago. Oh. I think you need rest more than anything. Well, when a mother worries, she worries. I Just because. Me if this is an overstep, Empress, but I think you need this more than I do. Oh, that's nice. Ah, oh, it beats drinking black coffee the entire time. You really need to get sugar in those. God. I'm sorry if I had to step, step you both aside to talk about this. It's just, it's really important. Sure, it might not be as important as the rebellion or anything else or Pandora's law, but it's and it's personal. But still, they're just children. I was about to bring them to school that one time, but woke up to finding them not in their beds, very neatly folded beds. Let me do the same. Yes. Perhaps this ain't on quite a scale as an actual war, but these are your children. They are children. That's as important as any war to me. Of course. Perhaps maybe not in the grand scale, but... And yeah, children... Nice. Yes. Yeah, yes. And during, and during wartime, children are mostly affected by seeing all of that. I don't want them to... I don't want them to be involved in anything. That's why I keep them out of the loop for things like this I only bring them when it's necessary they need to know they need to know certain things who not to trust when it comes to war I don't want to bring them into these circumstances certain situations they probably didn't think I cared but uh, you know I just want them to live a healthy childhood just because we're in the new world and we're about to go into the world doesn't mean that I don't want the best for them Anyways, enough of the sob story. Let's just find them. If we find them, that's good. Just, I'll probably have to keep them with Allison when they find them. I think that's the best option. I'll be sure to keep them safe. If they run to you, and please do, just tell me that they're with you. You don't even need to bring them back. With the way that the world's about to go, I don't think Haven's, <laughs> ironically, I don't think Haven's the safest place for them. I'll be sure to do that. I worry for them as much as you do. Of course, they're family. And it's <laughs> in our Gratian blood. Anyways, you both should probably get going. I need to talk to Justin anyway. Of course. You go first. I mean to be here for you, Empress. 
Of course, and I if thank you, you need for me that. for anything. Just keep up the search. Family stick together. Of course. You two enjoy each other. Hmm. What were you talking about? Well, I made a deal with them. Considering oh. the fact that Chris is the only person that seems to be inhabiting Antarctica, I basically paid them to keep hush-hush about our stuff, just in case the insurgency tries to get them on their side. <laughs> or ask. Hmm. By the way, as a precaution, when we if we do or when we do actually start searching Antarctica, keep a keep a guard or two on them. Hmm. I was thinking just that. It's just can't a exactly precaution. trust everybody. Exactly, we have to be cautious. We have to be sneaky, cunning. The Argus Insurgency managed to slip past a guard or two during the whole Spirited Oasis. I'd like to keep some sort of precaution. Just in case certain board members of the New World Order are actually part of the Insurgency. Well, no matter what, we'll find them. Well, I have a question for you then. What are you going to do if someone from our family is part of the insurgency like the, like Davern I want I want them captured They'll I just want to know I, I want to sit down with them and ask why why they decided to do these things you'll have not to exactly... put them in jail I know I know I'm gonna have to do that Will you be able to handle it? Will you be able yes, to handle I'll... it? I've been backstabbed enough. I think I can handle it. Alright then. If you can handle it, look, listen. I just don't want you to make... To turn your emotions into your own personal... Well... You, you know what I mean. Don't let your emotions because... get to your head. Is it because I'm Aries? <laughs> That's a, not, that's the least of my problems. At least you can actually say that with confidence. Nobody's ever been able to say that with me. It's more on the lines that you have a big heart. We can't go easy on anybody, not even part of the family. We have to if there's give... An, if there's an option for it, then I'm willing to take it. Of course. But fair justice, remember. Always gotta be fair. No matter who it is. Yeah, I know. I wish there was another way, but you're right. Well, at the very least, you still see your kids. But do they want to see me? Do any of our kids want to see us? They're young. They'll understand in the future. I certainly hope so. Anyways, I got a lot of paperwork to write, so... I'm gonna stay here for a bit longer. Swanson's... Been... Swanson's been, well, searching for the beans. I just hope they're okay, and I swear to God, if the insurgency has them... God. We'll never, we'll never know unless we see the evidence. We can't repeat history again. Of course, but I'm just saying, I hope that they don't involve them in this. They have nothing to do with this. If or... they involve your kids in this war, potential war that's going to happen, I will break every bone in their goddamn bodies. And there's nothing you can say to stop me from that. 
Would I stop they are you? Young. They, they are young and they don't need to be involved in this. Would I stop you? You know me better than anybody else. <laughs> of course. Anyways, what are you... Anyways, are you gonna head to the office? Because I'm probably gonna head home. Hmm. Yeah. You don't mind if I use your desk to write up paperwork, do you? Oh, be my guest. I barely sleep on that thing or ride on that thing anyway. Alright, well, see you later, sis. See you later. I swear to God. Argus Insurgency. If you have my children, I swear to god, I will... I will... Unleash the wrath of Athena on you. Not my kids. Not my kids. Anything but them. They didn't do anything. Very least. If they're okay, then I'm okay. <sighs> Please come home. Please come home. That's all I want. Nothing is more important to me than them. Not this fucking position. And that's it, guys, for the stream. You, yeah, yeah, good lord, stream. We almost reached an hour. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. How'd you guys like the lore? Oh, by the way, guys, he didn't mean I'm an Aries. He said Aries, as in the God of War Aries, because you know he's the God of War. I just wanted to make that clear. But yeah, guys, how do you like the uh, the stream? It's good, ain't it? We're going straight into war. Woo! So the next following streams might be a little bit chaotic. Yeah. Let's go. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for joining uh, Barreled SMP. Um, and supporting us so far and whatnot. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, it's been a journey. We love y'all. Um... I'll announce the next Bear World that's a be soon, but probably uh, it depends on like what happens. But yeah, thank you so much guys for joining here again. I know I'm like, kind of rambling already, but that's just me. Thank you very much for joining Bear World SMP. Um, hope to see you guys next time. This blueberry signing off, and good <laughs> good day, Berry Bunch. Bye.